Randy, Randy, Randy. Yes, that's right. Because today your exes at Knowles, Knowles 24 7 crew are talking about a transfer portal. Alabama linebacker. That's right. A real honest to goodness linebacker today. We are talking about the four star transfer, Sean Murphy from the Alabama Crimson Tide. He is a third year player. I believe he's going to be a redshirt sophomore. He has a he got some years on him, like a number of these transfer portal guys at Florida State's taken in this class. High upside, a guy that was at a premier program, a very heralded recruit out of Manassas, Virginia. He's the number 12 linebacker, number 141 prospect nationally. That was by 24-7 sports. I actually believe that we had him a little bit lower than the rest of the country. This is a very exciting kid. He's a guy that really had got a lot of special teams, um, Got a lot of special teams work in 2023 as a redshirt freshman. But, guys, athleticism for days. He flashed. We're going to watch some Bama tape. We're going to watch some high school tape. I'm excited about this take. This is the most talented linebacker that Florida State has had on campus, like physically, in a really long time. I'm excited for the developmenter, especial Randy <laughs> Shannon to get his mitts on this guy, and just get him molded how he needs to. What, what, how do you feel, Adam? You feel good? Yeah. I mean, how, how do you not feel good about getting a high any linebacker? Yeah, really, yeah, really, really, <laughs> any linebacker, even DJ Lundy returning. Um, That's right. Yeah. He's a missile. He is an absolute missile. Like uh, there's a, a lot to be excited for there. They don't, and they want their linebackers to be able to fit the run game and stop the run game um, and then be able to play some coverage. So I think it's exciting. I think it's a really good take. And you know, we keep saying that about these guys. So <laughs> they got to get them in here. They got to get them into the system. And, and obviously, but as far as like looking at the film and projecting what he could be down the road, uh, he's obviously still raw and developing, but there's a lot to, lot to be happy about with this take. He's right, dude. When you hit, you stop. Six foot two, 225 pounds. Florida State ideally wants to play a light box. They want to stop the run with six, and then they want to use that plethora of talent in the defensive backfield to make life hell for opposing offensive coordinators. You start getting more linebackers like Sean Murphy to work with, and that There's becomes more. way more of a reality in the coming years. Kev, what do you think about this guy's take before we, uh, before we get into the film? Yeah, he he looks he looks like a different kind of athlete than you're used to seeing Florida State linebackers in the past mm -hmm. few years. Um, we're gonna see him, and he just kind of has a bounce to him. He he looks he looks like an Alabama linebacker. He he fits out there, you know. He looks kind of like those prototypical Nick Saban kind of guys, and he he moves well. He hits well. Um, we we have I think 18 plays that he all 18 plays. I went you're gonna get them every, all every, every single play, play baby. <laughs> Um, so some of them might not be eventful, but we can kind of see him kind of moving in space and, and kind of how his athleticism has changed over the past two years. Perfect, man. Throw it on. All right. Here we go. So he is here. He's 43. Um, so he's kind of playing. He's playing Will linebacker here, but um, essentially he's out in space. And that's Maybe not him. You see him be able to flip his hips and play a little bit in space, which is good. Here he is, is right in the middle. That, that, that's some of the development there. I mean, he you can see he half understands where the hell he's going. Yeah, so he sees he sees this puller. Um, he sees this gap open up. He comes yeah. in and he fills it. And he takes on the puller, then, you know, makes the play. It's a play that, as he sees more, he'll be faster at. He's a step slow there. You want to see him turn it on. Right there. Yeah. He's in the right place for the quarterback. Um, mm -hmm. I think the safety is technically supposed to get the running back, but you'd like to see him see the ball here and turn and burn, you know? Yeah. Yep. That's just like game rep stuff, though, right? Yeah. Practice games. He just needs He needs reps. And I think this is, yeah, uh, here he is filling. Again, he's getting to the right place. He's just not getting there necessarily as 
violently as, as you mm-hmm. can kind of tell he's yeah. got the athleticism for, and that just comes with reps. Here, come on, come on, keep coming. Oh, he's ready for it. Yeah, here he does a really good job. This outside yeah. zone play. He's stalking, he's stalking this ball carrier right now. Yeah, he's there. You see, he's got he throttled. He's ready for this thing to cut back. He kind of sees how it's developing. Mm-hmm. There he is. Will linebacker again. I liked it. I like I like the the eyes and the way that he moves as far as like you can tell he's di- it, it's slower. And it's going to be faster with time, but he is diagnosing what's happening in front. There doesn't look like a whole ton of confusion, maybe just a, no, that's not a hesitancy to like make a mistake. You know what I mean? So this is uh, him out just, in space. There's a lot going on for him. I mean, it's it's all moving a lot faster than it did when he was in high school. Sure. So, he's a guy that's got he's got to get reps. Got to get him. You got to get him coached so, up. You know, remember how forty three. Remember how we used to watch Kalen on film? And Absolutely. So oh, he looks unsure of himself. He looks unconfident. Like just gonna. It's, it takes time. You can see the athleticism in this play, though. Yeah. Turns the hips. He's got a good stride. I mean, he can run straight line. He's got a good bounce to him. This yeah. is a, probably might he might be his best play. So he doesn't fall in with the eye candy. He recognizes. So this is kind of so it's kind of stack track fallback. So he's stacked with his defensive lineman. Mm-hmm. He sees this defensive lineman cross his face. That means now he's got this backside gap. And he does a really good job filling it. Oh yeah, very cool. nice. So that's 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 kind of something that's more developed. That's something he's gotten there. He's ready to kind of do that basic yeah. thing as a linebacker. This was later in the season for them, right? Yeah. Yeah, game 10. So I, I, I'm not quite sure where he was on that play. He's in the middle. Yeah, he's in the middle. No, he's he's in the middle back right? Yeah, and he's okay. there. He plays the cutback well. He's doing his job, which you like to see. He's not overpressing. He's not trying to do too much. He's... And that we we saw that as an issue when some of the younger guys got in near the, the in the mm-hmm. rotational parts of the game. Some of those combinations of the younger guys because you got to get them reps to get them comfortable. But there were a lot of out of position stuff, a lot of getting fooled by the eye candy. This is mm-hmm. this is a good, well scouted, well coached linebacker that's young that's not falling for that's not falling for a lot of the, look lot how of stuff. square he stays all the time because he trusts his athleticism. Yep, he trusts himself, and, and he trusts his the, teammates to stop. To go be able to make a play and stay square. He doesn't have to turn and sprint as hard as he can to try to catch up on something. He brings him down too, Adam, right? On that initial contact, these guys oh, are yeah, going he, down the play. I said he's a missile. Yeah, and we'll see a little bit more of that shine in his high school tape when we get there, but what I, I really like there his patience. Go. This is a great play by him. Here he is again at middle linebacker. Does a good job reading those blocks, reading those pullers, understanding there's another gap out here, seeing the hole and filling it. Yeah, dude, it's kind of like running back esque, right? Kind of like the way he's, he's like really reading that. He's doing a really nice job of staying on the back hip of the ball carrier. Got to understand how it's going to develop in front of him, where he fits in off of it. So here he is, just kind of flowing with this this ball, fighting through the mess, trying to make a play. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to see too much of him kind of in coverage because it's he's getting kind of into game reps and you know a little bit there it looks like. Yeah, it's showing some of that high school tape. He moves really well. Here, here's here, here's what his high school tape is: him denogonizing people. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, do you do you we we talk about is the co- potential coverage ability, Adam? Are you are you worried about that, or do you no. think with I feel with that athletic profile, like once he gets reps, I don't I'm not I don't feel too worried about him being a liability in coverage. They just they do such a good job though with the secondary. <laughs> oh God, yep, there goes the knocking. Yep, it doesn't, call it. It doesn't concern me for Florida State. Yeah, they do. His, they do. his first job is going to be play the play the run. That's his first job. Yep. Let's do that. They're going to put him at that will backer. Yep. And 
uh, um. very similar role to what Tatum Bethune played. And <laughs> this is fun. I think uh, I, I think the guys on OTB said that he. Oh God, <laughs> come on, dude! I think the guys on OTB said that uh, he was like the the Dick Butkus like high school linebacker of the year or something, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I like the highlights, dude. Little crown. It is lit. It is lit, Sean. <laughs> this looks now, this... different than some of the other stuff. Some of the other guys they brought in, though. I mean, oh, dude, yeah. not to knock them, but it's just different. It's a different level yeah. of athleticism. Mm-hmm. But the, but you know, bringing him in, he's not going to be a perfect player this year. Like he's got time, you know, to to still develop. How many years of of do he's been do in the school have... two years? Okay. Yeah, he's had two um, seasons under his belt. He's a red he's a red sophomore. sophomore this year. Yeah. So he's got a little bit of time, you know, to come in, and and he's not going to be a perfect player right away. He's not going to be a a Tatum Bethune, but um, you know, you plug him in, you got DJ Lundy back, allows you to work Justin Cryer in, allows you to work Blake Nicholson in this in maybe more packages as opposed to forcing him to be a starter. More time um, for Omar Graham too. You know, yeah. Yeah. So it just it just really helps your room as a whole. Do you guys think that we've seen this kind of interesting um, combination of like the the Tomiwa Durojaes and the Sioni Lolohayas, the guy with the high upside and then the the vet presence? We've seen the Terrence Ferguson take with the high upside with the veteran known quantity and Richie Leonard. Do you think that they're going to be looking for a, like a known quantity veteran linebacker? Or do you think DJ Lundy has filled that gap to pair with this high upside multi-year guy in Sean Murphy? I'm sure they're going to evaluate that after spring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy, if if this starts clicking for this guy, he has enough athleticism to be able to make some mistakes and be okay. Um, I mean, that's that's why blue chip ratio is why this recruiting stuff matters yeah. is because once you get to a certain athletic threshold, like this dude can get away with mistakes that Tatum Bethune can't get away with. Mm-hmm. And you sometimes you just let that play out. Um, but yeah, I, they oh. might be looking for a different different linebacker but not nah, this place <laughs> could, could you imagine this dude like coming on some of them like kalen deloach like delayed blitzes and hitting somebody from like a blind side <laughs> like, like, this devastation right the dude can move he can hit he, he does it all um i think i think there's a reason he was highly sought after in high school and honestly of all the takes this might be my favorite out of the transfer Ooh. portal this year this I mean, a defensive guy came in. This he's he's just. I I think he's I think he's going to be pretty pretty good, pretty darn good. Once Randy Shannon gets a hold of him, gets some development in him, he's got the tools. I think so too, man. I think so too. This is good stuff. Yeah, I I hadn't actually watched his huddle. His huddle, the the patience and awareness he showed as as someone who didn't get a lot of snaps at Alabama. And then to go back and see kind of what his athletic ceiling is compared to, you know, high schoolers. But you're kind of seeing like this guy's a five star. This is this is what five star linebackers look like or high four star linebackers look like, you know. This, Alabama this... evaluated Saban linebackers. I'm good with taking more guys like this. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I think so. I think we probably load up on a couple more of them. That'd be all right. I like when I'm watching the huddle tape and I'm just like chuckling most of the time <laughs> because a lot of it's absurd. Do you think that um, as far as where his development, his improvement, does this guy have a pretty good shot of being one of the starting two in, in week one in old Dublin, Ireland? Or like, or is this a guy that we think that maybe you might need some time to work into that starting rotation? The potential's there. What are your expectations for this kid? Uh, it's, is he going to, I mean, culturally, how does he fit? And does he come into work? I mean, really, that's the only thing that's going to hold him back from not starting, in, in my opinion. Um, I think so too. I mean, he's he's got more. He's just got more reps than what Blake does and Cryer does, and um, not necessarily more than Omar Graham. But he's this is not a slight to Omar, but he's a hell of a lot more talented of an athlete than Omar Graham is. Yeah, it just moves so, different. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So again, I'm not trying to slight Omar. That's not what no. that's about. But uh, just athletically, they're night and day apart. So I mean, yeah, I would I would say you probably are projecting him as your. As your starter, alongside uh, DJ Lundy, 
against Georgia Tech. And, and you know, he's he's got to come in and do it, though. I mean, he's got to come in and mm-hmm. take that spot and seize that opportunity. And uh, I'm sure that that conversation has been had, you know, what that expectation looks like for him. They don't have too many. That's the one thing about the Mike Norvell transfer portal era, even from the beginning. They're good at weeding out that cultural stuff, man. Yeah. They haven't they haven't had too much dead wood from the portal of guys who don't get the work aspect. They do a really good job. And a lot of it's because they're familiar with these guys from their high school recruitments where that's such a crucial portion of them, that mental work act, the culture evaluation. Yeah. And they just carry it forward when they see them in a year or two and they eventually come to Florida State. I'm excited. I thought it was great. Another great film analysis for my friends, for Adam, for Kevin, for me. That's another film evaluation in the books. Don't worry. We know there's more. We never stop working. We're going to have more videos coming. We promise. In the meantime, Knowles247.com. All of the best. All the most accurate. All of the first Florida State team info on the history of the internet. It's the best. If you're not there, you're a loser. So fix Suck that. it, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that too, as always. Well, sounds good to me. Keep chopping.